Hi, I'm Rosanna, the artist behind Bikini to Crochet, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this little crochet pincushion. So for this exercise, you will need a crochet hook. I recommend a two crochet hook or a 2.5, some fine crochet yarn, a little bit of fabric, and some stuffing. You can choose to have either normal stuffing, like from a cushion, or in this case, I've used sand so it's got a bit of weight. So let's get started. To start, what you're going to need is your yarn and a crochet hook. For the example, I'm using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook with the matching yarn. I'm only using this for an example so your video is clear for you. In my, um, in my blog, I've asked for you to use thread yarn, which is much thinner to create the same size 7x7 seven seven pincushion. Anyway, let's start. So to begin, you need to make a magic circle. If you don't know how to do this, I'm going to repeat this twice now. So pick up your yarn with the small tail on the outside. Okay. Pull the other side of the yarn and pull it round your fingers and over the top to make a cross. So I've got my cross here. Use your hook and collect it from the other side and pull through. So you've got a loop. So I'm going to show you that again, just in case you're not sure. Okay, so small tail on one side, yarn over the back and over to create a cross. Use your crochet hook to pick the yarn under. And that's the beginning of your magic circle and here's my magic circle okay so our instructions are chain four and you're going to count this as one dc one double crochet chain one so one two three four so there's my first dc dc chain one okay i'm going to repeat this 11 times all the way around. So I'll be doing this quite quickly. Number three, four, Sorry, this is taking me a bit <laughs> longer than usual at the moment because we've been going through a bit of a funny spell here in Santos and the weather was really warm and now it's gone very cold again, causing my fingers to split, which is not fun. Okay, so, so far we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Okay. Now I've done number twelve. My hooks. Okay, now I've done number 12, so 12 DC chain ones, I'm going to pull the small end of my magic loop and pull it tight to create our circle. So just pull that gently and everything will start to pull together. There we go. And now I'll slip stitch into the third chain from our first step. Okay. So there's our first row done. Okay, now you're going to chain two, row two, and ch DC two together. So I'm going to 
DC two together into the first chain space, sorry. So yarn over through the chain space, pull through, yarn over again, through the chain space, pull through, and continue as you've got a double crochet. And now that will look like three double crochet decrease. Okay. So now what you're going to do is chain three, and in the next chain space, you're going to do a three double crochet together. So yarn over into the chain space, pull through the first two, two loops on my hook, yarn over through, pull through the first two <laughs> loops, three on my chain, yarn over, pull through, pull through the first two, four on my chain on my hook yarn over and pull through all four. Okay, and then we're going to chain three, two, three. Continue this pattern all the way around so you'll get um, three double crochets together all the way around, chain three, and slip stitch into your first, top of your first DC. So I'll meet you again in a minute. Okay, so I've done all my 3 DC chain 3 all the way around, so now I've got 12 all together. Okay, for the row 3 you're going to chain 1, and you're going to single crochet into this chain space, your first chain space of 3, so single crochet. And then you're going to chain 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then single crochet in the next chain space. Chain five, single crochet in the next chain space. So continue this all the way around again. Sorry, three, four, five in the chain space. Okay. And continue this all the way around until you get to the last chain space and it's going to be slightly different the instructions. Now I've reached the last point where I could do five single crochet and slip stitch but we're going to change it slightly so I'm going to chain two and then double crochet into the first single crochet. And that is row three. Row four, our final row, we're going to chain one and single crochet into the same uh, chain space created. Now chain five and single crochet into your next chain space. Now, so I've chained five and single crocheted into my next. Now chain one and then five double crochet into this chain space. So five DC, one, two, three, four, five and chain three. One, two, three and chain five again at DC five again. One, two, three, four, five and chain one. So in this chain space we've done five DC followed by three chains, five DC. And chain one and single crochet in the next chain space. So that's our first corner of our motif. So what you're going to do now is single crochet as we've done, five single crochet, chain one, 5DC, chain 3, 5DC, chain 1. So we're going to make the next corner. 
chain five, two, three, four, five, single crochet, chain one, five DC, one, two, three, Chain three, five DC, three, four, five, chain one, single crochet. So now you can see that our motif is starting to come together. So repeat this pattern twice more until you get to the end. So you're going to do chain five, single crochet, chain one, five DC, chain three, five DC, chain one, and repeat again and slip stitch into your first single crochet once you've finished and you'll end up with your final motif. Okay, so I've finished my motif. I've slip stitched into the first single crochet. All that's left to do now is cut your yarn and fasten off your two yarn ends. So that's my example. Here is the same one I've made for my pattern on my website, which is much smaller using a smaller yarn this is a fingering weight yarn and I've used a two millimeter crochet hook and this creates a seven centimeter square motif. To make your pin cushion what you will need is to cut two pieces of fabric nine centimeters by nine so you've got a one centimeter allowance all the way around. So pin your two pieces of fabric face to face and put two pins at the top. Sorry, dog hair. Two pins at the top, which are separating about, I'd say that's about four centimeters. And use a sewing machine or sew by hand and sew one centimeter from the edge all the way around your little sewing bag. So here's one I've done earlier, a little blue Peter moment. So as you can see, I've sewn all the way around the edge. When you cut your yarn or your th thread, try and leave a very long tail. So here I've left about, say, 50 centimeter tail. We can use this to close the bag. Okay, so what is easiest to do is just cut the ends of your bag to make the corners easier to turn. Turn your bag inside out, fill it with stuffing. I used a little funnel for mine. You can either use sand if you're using it for pins or if you're making a lavender bag, you can put cushion stuffing inside with some lavender, scented lavender. And once that is finished, to, once it's filled and you've sewn at the edge, you can get your crochet motif and sew it on top. And I'll just get one of mine that I've made. Okay, here's the examples of the ones I've made. Like I said before, in these ones I have put some sand. So every time I put my pins in, they slightly get sharpened. So I made one here, and this is my favorite one, which I've used linen yarn and linen fabric. And that's it, that's finished. And these make perfect gifts for weddings or for Christmas or just to add to your sewing box on your, your crochet kit. Thank you for coming to watch my video again. If you like the video, please click like. If you'd like to subscribe, I will be making more crochet videos. And underneath my video, there's a link to my blog and my website where you can get the written instructions for this pattern. Thank you again, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.